हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल गोविंद नारायण पुरोहित एंड टुडे वी डिस्कस समथिंग अबाउट द डॉग मेटिंग और ब्रीडिंग फॉर द ऑप्टिमम प्रेगनेंसी फ्रेंड्स द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ पेट डॉग्स इन इंडिया माउंटेड फॉर अराउंड 19.5 मिलियन इन द ईयर 2018 एंड द पॉपुलेशन इज स्पेकुलेटेड टू रीच ओवर थर्टी मिलियन by the end of year 2023 so dog mating uh, the pet dogs keeping pet dogs mating pet dogs uh, is on the increase so these are some of the popular breeds uh, some of the popular breeds of india the golden retriever the rottweiler the pug german shepherd doberman dalmatian beagle and uh, the uh, other breeds of labra and other breeds of dog the now first of all let us discuss about the breeding age for bitches the breeders consider that the bitch can breed starting with the second heat but it really should be dependent on their age and maturity as heat cycles can vary greatly from dog to dog the small breed of dogs should be mated between 12 to 18 months when they are 12 to 18 months old medium sized dogs when they are 15 to 18 months old large dog breeds when uh, they are 18 to 24 4 months old then in general it's best to retire a bitch from breeding around the age of 6 although stud dogs may continue un until approximately 10 years old depending on their fertility now uh, there are uh, certain things which you need to uh, take care before planning to breed your dog potential health problems should be checked before mating and uh, for example labrador retrievers can inherit eye defects so if a dog or a bitch is having eye problems it should not be bred german shepherds uh, and other uh, smaller breeds like cocker spaniels and shetland sheep dogs are uh, prone to hereditary hip dysplasia and animal having this problem should not be bred patellar luxation affects a smaller dog no dog with patellar luxation should be bred as this is a hereditary condition for some breeds deafness can be a problem for details on inherited problems and in different breeds of dogs one can refer to breed predisposition to disease in dogs and cats third edition by alex gog uh, Alison Thomas and Dan O'Neill. The dog should have the right temperament for its breed. It should not be very aggressive, unnecessarily aggressive. Both the dog and bitch must be tested for brucellosis. Both the dog and bitch should neither be obese nor too thin and should be bathed a day before mating. Give a bath to your dog. Stud dogs of the same breed are preferred and should be ideally equal in size and weight. although uh, there are reports that uh, cross breeding uh, is popular in some european countries and other places but it's not popular in india now creating an ideal mating environment is imp important for breeding of the dogs mate the dogs in the sire's home or space so uh, take your bitch to the dog and don't bring the dog to the bitch an outside space at the sire's home where the dogs can mate without distraction is preferable although some uh, shy breeds of dogs they would prefer to be indoors and one can opt uh, to keep them indoors clip the hair under the bitch's tail and notice the dog and bitch without disturbing them apply a lubricant on the bitch's vulva such as the ky jelly if the male has difficulty in introducing his penis then supervise the dogs at all times to ensure the safety place a gentle muzzle on the female especially if she is a first time breeder or is having some problem do not disturb dogs during a lock tie don't forcibly separate it that can lead to injuries do not allow bitch to urinate for 15 minutes of the after the mating is over and some bitches will not allow a particular male dog to mate her you can just change the dog now uh, an important the reason for the failure of a bitch becoming pregnant is the mistimed mating so uh, or the poor breeding management a bitch evidences proestrogen breeding for 7 to 9 days 
and then the estrus lasts on an average seven to nine days. Uh, during proestrus, which is show vulvar edema and uh, vul uh, vulvovaginal bleeding, owners often mate their bitches on ninth, eleventh, or thirteenth day, or twice two days after stoppage of the bleeding and forty-eight hours later. Now this. may or may not result into conception we'll discuss how the period of receptivity to a male varies considerably among bitches some bitches are receptive well before and after the period of potential fertility now this is again a problem you see uh, the receptivity may start in proestrus and some bitches may even continue during that period of diestrus Interestrus and dogs consist of diestrus 60 days plus anestrus a variable time and the average is duration is 7 months German shepherds the interestrus interval is 6.5 months dachshunds 8.5 months passengers 12 months therefore larger dogs tend to have a shorter interestrus interval than small dogs the variation of interestrus interval within a bitch was actually found to be greater than between the bitches the interestrus interval tends to become longer as bitches are greater than 8 years old now you can see this is uh, the anestrus period when the bitch is not receptive this is the proestrus period when bitch will show vaginal bleeding and this is the estrus period so somewhere here the luteinizing hormone surge occurs and this is the diestrus period deciding when to breed the bitch by counting the number of days from the onset of proestrus is inaccurate since the time of ovulation is variable in relation to the onset of proestrus it's not exactly that it will occur on 9th day or 11th day ovulation in the bitch can normally occur as early as day 5 after the onset of proestrus or as late as day 30 after the onset of proestrus so this this creates a difficulty if you mate a dog If you breed a bitch on ninth, eleventh, or thirteenth day, and if ovulation occurs as late as day thirty, although the canine sperm will be viable for seven days, but again not up to day thirty, so this uh, creates a problem for the dog breeder. Within the same bitch, there are also differences in the time of ovulation from one cycle to the next cycle. So the same bitch may have variations in the ovulation time. the oocytes become fertilizable 2 days after ovulation so this is the lh surge and 2 days after ovulation here ovulation has occurred after the lh surge 2 days after the lh surge and oocytes become fertilizable 2 days after ovulation oocytes remain viable within the reproductive tract for a further 4 day period so up till here the oocytes will remain viable and the canine sperm can remain viable in the female tract for up to 7 days so sometimes a single fertile mating will occur will result in uh, the uh, conception but some dogs the semen or the spermatozoa from some dogs will not remain viable for up to 7 days so that results into conception failures now what are the one has to refer to the clinician to the vet for timing the uh breeding or the mating in the bitch the clinical methods to time mating in the bitch the first one is receptivity the onset of behavior estrus bitch becomes receptive roughly approximate the lh surge however due to large variations between and within the bitches uh, in receptivity and behavioral responses to dogs this approach is not uniformly predictive and a bitch may accept the dog even though the lh surge would occur a couple of days later then the vaginal discharge and vulvar morphology in proestrus the vulva is swollen with varying amounts of sanguineous vulvar discharge as estrus progresses the vulva softens and turgidity is lost with or without a vaginal discharge typically vulva softening approximate the lh surge but is subjective and not solely productive the vaginal discharge is too variable to be useful rather than a rough indicator of the estrus a easiest approach 
for timing the mating in the bitch which a clinician which the dog breeder has take uh, his or her bitch to the clinician is the performing the vaginal cytology cytologic changes throughout the canine estrus cycle reflect changes in the blood concentrations of the estrogen estrogen levels rise prior to and during proestrus and fall in conjunction with the pre ovulatory surge of luteinizing hormone the rising levels of estrogen induce the cornification that is characteristics of smears examined during estrus ovulation occurs 2 days after the lh surge the best time to mate a bitch would thus be when cytology smears evidence 80% or more of the cornified cells the serial cytological examination of smears is suggested every alternate day if the bitch's evidence predominantly parabasal cells at the first examination so a dog breeder has to take his or her bitch to the vet he will uh, perform a cytological vaginal cytological examination and then he will let you know what is the stage you have to bring the bitch back after one day 24 hours or 48 hours later <clears throat> and then he will re examine and the time uh, when uh, maximum uh, cells would be uh, the epithelial type then he would say now you can mate your bitch two days later so this is how the vaginal cytological examination is performed a small uh, uh, swab is taken it's inserted in the vagina rolled straightened and then uh, rolled in the vagina taken out and then rolled on a glass slide and it is then uh, stain using a cellular stain maybe a uh, dipstick stain and uh, then it is examined uh, it can first be fixed and then uh, stained with the two stains and then dried and examined under a microscope you see days uh, this is the proestrus and this is the estrus period so uh, the vaginal cornification would start nearly when the lh surge has occurred will continue till uh, for a couple of days and then decline and this is the fertile period of the bitch when progesterone levels are increasing so you can see if uh, you have brought your bitch and if the slide shows this rbc's it's early proestrus and then the parabasal cells round cells uh, with a large nucleus again you have to wait for two more days again if the same cells appear two more days and then when these types of cells predominate in the smear then you can uh, your vet can ask you to mate your bitch you can see in this uh, picture that the uh, days in relation to the pre ovulatory set uh, lh surge and percentage of a nuclear cells 80% a nuclear cells will be here around the lh surge and when the progesterone has started increasing these are the a nuclear uh, uh, cornified or the epithelial cells these are the superficial cells the parabasal intermediate superficial and a nuclear so this is how the changes do occur in the uh, vaginal cytology small intermediate cells rbc's and then large intermediate cells and then the uh, a nuclear superficial cells and then the uh, uh, a nuclear or uh, cells with a small nucleus uh, again the cornified cells and you can uh, then plan then a dip dip kick stain can be used which has a fixative fast green in methanol pale green color or maybe colorless then stain 1 eosin g in phosphate buffer and stain 2 thiazine dye in phosphate buffer which has a blue color so you have to put your slide first in the fixative then in the red color and then in the blue color then plasma progesterone uh, can be used to time the mating the serial pl uh, serum plasma progesterone assay can be used to time the mating Luteinization of the follicular wall induced by the LH surge, resulting rising serum progesterone. 
and serial progesterone measurements can be collect, uh, collected by sampling every one to four days, increasing in frequency as the sharp rise in progesterone approaches. So here you can see the, this is the fertile period and this is the fertilization period and uh, the uh, progesterone uh, nearing uh, ovulation, the progesterone has started increasing and uh, this is the uh, way you can use uh, progesterone profiles to time the mating. The serum progesterone concentration is about 2 nanogram per ml on the day of LH surge and 4 to 10 nanogram on the ovulation day. Once serum progesterone reaches a level of 2 nanogram, ovulation will occur in 2 days. So the optimal breeding day is 2 days post ovulation. Thus once the progesterone is 2 nanogram, mating should occur 4 to 6 days later. And progesterone is over 8 nanogram per ml at the start of the fertile period. So breed 1 to 3 days later. So using a serial plasma progesterone profile, you can time the mating. So uh, the two very uh, easy approaches would be the vaginal cytology and the plasma progesterone profile. I hope if uh, breeders uh, bring their bitches to the vets for vaginal cytological or progesterone profiles, they would have better conception rates in their bitch and uh, the pregnancy failures would be less. less. So this is my contact you can contact me at my email gnpobs at the rate gmail.com this is my youtube link you can watch my videos and kindly listen to the lecture completely give your comment share the video and subscribe to my youtube channel govind narayan purohit if you like them thank you thank you so much